Hi friends. I welcome you all to the session on spoken English. I hope you are doing well. So without wasting time, let's get started. Already we have seen simple present tense and present continuous tense. Today let us see present perfect tense. Though it is a subtense of present tense, it is basically used to talk about the past actions only. ఈ టెన్స్ ప్రెజెంట్ టెన్స్లో భాగమైనప్పటికీ కూడా దీన్ని పాస్ట్ యాక్షన్ నుంచి చెప్పడానికి యూజ్ చేస్తాం వెన్ యూఆర్ టాకింగ్ అబౌట్ ద కంప్లీటెడ్ యాక్షన్స్ జనరల్లీ వీ యూస్ సింపుల్ పాస్ట్ టెన్స్ టు ఎక్స్ప్రెస్ దెమ్ దట్ వీ నో ప్రెడీ వెల్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ నేను ఇంగ్లీష్ నేర్చుకున్నానని చెప్పడానికి ఐ లర్న్ ఇంగ్లీష్ ఐ టుక్ బ్రేక్ఫాస్ట్ ఐ బాట్ ఏ ల్యాప్టాప్ సో దిస్ ఇస్ ద వే ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ప్రెసింగ్ పాస్ట్ యాక్షన్స్ వీ నో ప్రెడీ వెల్ already we are expressing completed actions in simple past tense then what is the need of using present perfect tense let me tell you the present perfect tense is the first of the advanced tenses it is advanced not only in terms of the grammar but also in terms of way that we think by using this tense you will definitely be able to speak and write at a much higher level in english the present perfect tense will allow you to communicate in a much more advanced way the present perfect tense connects the present with the past it is not just about the past or about the present it connects present with the past how it does let me see this tense shows us that an action in the past has a result in the present or an effect in the present that means something that happened before now has an effect on something let me tell you one beautiful example we know simple past tense i could say i lost my mobile in simple past tense law simple i lost my mobile in present perfect tense i could say i have lost my mobile is there any difference between saying i lost my mobile and i have lost my mobile in english there is the difference telugu lo i lost my mobile anna i have lost my mobile anna okay meaning e cheptam nen na mobile pogottukunnan ani but in english there is the difference sometimes people use it almost in the same way but actually it is different if i say i lost my mobile maybe i lost my mobile on monday but i then i found it on tuesday so if you say just i lost my mobile it doesn't mean that it is true today it means it was true in the past but if you say i have lost my mobile means what happened in the past is still true now and my mobile is still lost okay because maybe here you lost it on monday you found it on tuesday and it's not true but when you say i have lost it means you lost it at the sometime in the past we don't know when exactly and it doesn't matter also because what matters is the result here in this example is that i don't have my mobile right now whatever the result we got from that action is still continuing in present perfect tense i hope you got the difference let us see in how many situations we use this wonderful tense generally in english everywhere fast five forms we know pretty well this is the first form this is the second form third form fourth form fifth form when you are talking about past actions we use this form in simple past tense we know that but to express past actions by using present perfect tense then instead of using this form we should use this form this is the fifth form of verb past participle form v3 antam kada this is past participle form after have and has we should use this form only not this form or uh, simple sometimes both both are same but we should use this form only we shouldn't use this form simple simple past tense i have i lost my mobile present perfect tense i have lost my mobile 
what are the actions which were completed in the recent past we will be expressing with this present perfect tense ee madhyane ippude complete aina actions ni ee madhyane kavachu ippude kavachu complete aina actions ni present perfect tense lo cheptam anamata ipudu edaina oka pani ni past lo jarigindi ani cheppadaniki i bought a laptop dan pani ayipoyindi dan gunchi ippude em vishayam ledhu but i have bought a laptop it means the result of that action is still continuing ad ippadi kuda nijam i have taken breakfast just now nen ippude breakfast teeskunnanu i have sent the email just now nen ippude mail send chesanu you have eaten an apple just now nu ippude oka apple tinnam they have bought a house just now he has passed his exam just now she has painted a picture just now it has rained heavily just now ipude bari ga varsham padindi in another situation where we can use present perfect tense if you can see when we don't mention the time when the time when the action was happened then we can use present perfect tense manam eppudu chesa man time mention cheyipothe kuda man present perfect tense lo mention use cheyach i have passed mb here i am not giving the time reference it was happened in the past that is okay but i am not mentioning the time we have finished our homework my uncle has presented me a watch the train has arrived the platform she has painted this picture it is used with adverb of frequency frequency means adverb of frequency means number of times one thing is repeated number of times an action has been done by using this time indicators whenever you say past actions you have to express in present perfect tense only i have already seen this movie nen already ee cinema chusanu ippudu already nen padam valukunda i saw this movie yesterday i saw this movie ninna ee cinema chusanu బట్ అలా కాకుండా ఆల్రెడీ అని పదం వాడిన తర్వాత మళ్ళీ సింపుల్ పాస్ట్ టెన్స్లో చెప్పకూడదు ప్రజెంట్ పర్ఫెక్ట్ టెన్స్లో చెప్పాలి ఐ హ్యావ్ ఆల్రెడీ సీన్ దిస్ మూవీ వీ హ్యావ్ నెవర్ విజిటెడ్ దిస్ టెంపుల్ బిఫోర్ మేము ఇంతకుముందు పెప్పుడు ఈ టెంపుల్ని విజిట్ చేయలేదు యూ హ్యావ్ ఎవర్ స్పోకన్ టు హ్యావ్ మీరు ఎప్పుడు ఆమెతోనే మాట్లాడారు మీరు ఆల్వేస్ ఆమెతోనే మాట్లాడారు దే హ్యావ్ రీసెంట్లీ అరైవ్డ్ హియర్ వారు recent ga ikkadiki vacharu she has just called him aam ippude atani call chesindi ah uh, let's see some more time indicators by using this time indicators also whenever you tell anything and whenever you say past actions you should express in present perfect tense only i have had my hair cut this afternoon if the subject is i helping verb have verb in the past participle form that is had object my hair cut time indicator this afternoon we haven't completed our homework so far manam inta varaku mana homework ni complete cheyaledu have plus not equal have ant kada my father hasn't come home yet ma nanna inka intiki raledu my friend hasn't passed his exam till now ma friend inta varaku adra exam pass avaledu cm has visited amravati this week gopi has got in a job this month ela anamata ee time indicators vaadina appudi vaadte kuda manam present perfect tense lone cheppali simple past tense lo cheppakoddu ఇంకొన్ని టైమ్ ఇండికేటర్స్ చూద్దాం ఈ టైమ్ ఇండికేటర్స్ చెప్తే కూడా సింపుల్ పాస్ట్ టెన్స్లో చెప్పకూడదు ప్రజెంట్ పర్ఫెక్ట్ టెన్స్లోనే చెప్పాలి దిస్ ఈజ్ ద ఫస్ట్ టైమ్ ఐ హ్యావ్ సీన్ హెర్ ఇదే ఆమె నేను చూడడం మొదటిసారి దిస్ ఈజ్ ద సెకండ్ టైమ్ హీ హ్యాస్ ట్రావెల్ బై ఫ్లైట్ అతడు ఫ్లైట్లో వెళ్ళడం ఫ్లైట్లో ట్రావెల్ చేయడం ఇది రెండోసారి దిస్ ఈస్ ద వరస్ట్ టిఫిన్ ఐ హ్యావ్ హ్యాడ్ నేను తినిన దానిలోకి వెళ్ళా ఇదే వరస్ట్ టిఫిన్ this is the best book you have read this is the only film my father has seen ma nanna chusindi idokka cinema ne 
This is the earliest bus we have got. Let us say how to frame questions. I have finished my homework just now. I have finished my If now I want to question, take the helping word and use it before the subject. Now, you have completed your homework. Have you finished your homework? Now, you have finished your homework. I haven't finished my homework till now. Have plus not equal to haven't. Leda separate. I have not finished my homework till now. Have you not finished your homework till now? No, in the work, ni homework ni finish she leda. They have recently visited Charminar. Or ima de Charminar ni visit che sir. Sandar Sincharu. Have they visited Charminar? Sandar Sinchara question an mata. They have never visited Charminar. Never an edi negative connotation kada. Varu. In the work, Charman visit Chaled. Have on the visitor Charmer or Charman visit Chaleda? She has painted a picture. Question Chay. Has she painted a picture? She has not painted a picture. Leda, she hasn't painted a picture. Question Chay. Has she not painted a picture? Leda, hasn't she painted a picture? The train has arrived the platform. Has the train arrived the platform? The train hasn't arrived the platform yet. Train inka raledu. If you inka raledan question chali. Has the train not arrived the platform? This is the way of using present perfect tense. On way of using present perfect tense while you are asking questions. I hope you are clear. I am also clear. Thanks for watching my video. Please do subscribe and support me on YouTube.